What did Stout say to you after the game? Did you get a chance to talk to I him? Haven't, I haven't seen him yet. So. <laughs> you looking forward to seeing him or not? Of course. Yeah, okay. Of course. In Stout, we trust. <laughs> Come on. Uh, football players always talk about being in shape and then being in football shape. Do you feel like you're in football shape yet? I've got a long way to go. <laughs> first game, you know, I can't, I can't answer that. So first game, I don't know what football shape is, but uh, we'll see how we go. You said coming into the preseason uh, that your goal was to have better pass sets. That's what you wanted to work on going yeah. through the game. So first game done, where would you grade your pass sets? How are you feeling? Well, we're going to have to watch the tape. All right. Uh, I'll go you learned a kick out from uh, Lane? Big, good old Lane. Yeah, Lane and Big V. Uh, obviously, Stout's big on uh, yeah, being in the snap count and, and be, beating the uh, DN to, yeah. to a spot. So that was one big emphasis before the break and after the break, yeah. was to get that bunny hop in and, and try to imitate what Lane and Big V do. So. Uh, yeah, I think it works. <laughs> I think it's safe to say it yeah. works. Your knee okay? Yeah, um, I just had to wear the, the knee brace just for the uh, uh, I got PC upgrade too, and it's just just in case somebody knocks me in from the inside. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's yeah. not bad enough to operate on, so yeah, it's good. When did that happen? Oh, when I was playing rugby last year. So yeah, fell on it when I was running with the ball, and I thought it was just a uh, swollen knee. That even is a thing, and missed out a week, and then came here on the visit, and they were like, yeah, you got a PCO grade too, and I was like, I didn't know that. I would think you're not having any second thoughts about your decision to give up rugby and come here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I love it now. Okay. I love it. I think I just need to get more comfortable and more confident, and I think that's the only way to improve the game, my game. So, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Jordan. Jordan. Jordan, you can see your ass first NFL game, and what, what was it like out there for you? It was tough, yeah. It was tough, especially with the first play of that. It was really tough uh, to wrap my head around, and you know, it's, it's, it's my worst nightmare. You know, first play, giving up a sack, but obviously I had to learn from that and you know, had to adapt that next play mentality. So it was good. Yeah. Any surprises? Anything that you? Were... Oh no, it was everything I expected. Everything that Coach Stout warned me about it was everything. So I think once I got comfortable, I was able to be more confident with my decisions in pass setting and, and run blocking. So. Jordan, you said the vets told you you're going to be exhausted out there in your first game. How tiring was it up? It was tiring, especially when you're uh, on the ball. So, you know, you try and tie out the defense. So it's a mentality challenge. So who can last the longest for this defense? So it's, it's nice. It's nice when you get a, when you get a good run of uh, you know, pass hits and, and run blocks. So. Were there a lot of nerves coming in? Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, breathing helped me. So let my breathing out ING. Mm. And um, yeah, shout out to Taryn Morgan. <laughs> she helped me out a lot. So um, yeah, I was just, every time I go on the sideline, I was just breathing. Focusing on breathing. Every time I want to huddle, just breathing, trying to focus on the next play. That's what they keep telling me, next play mentality. And I'm trying to adopt that mentality so my game isn't affected. Chris Long said his first preseason game was like standing on a highway with cars whizzing by him. You know, did you feel that way as well? Um, yeah, the first play, the first play was like, okay set the speed, set the tone, and I was i was finally, you know, I finally realized where I was and had to adapt to it very quickly, so. But it slowed down as the game, it slowed down as the game went on. It, it slowed down as the game went on. It's wonderful, I mean, after that first, I mean, you think you recovered a little bit, but is, is there still some, uh, uh, just problems, not that problems, but is there still some some kinds of, of things where you, you have to concentrate on you know, getting a, you know, who to pick up on run game and run? Yeah, you know, that's one thing that we need to improve on that, you know, that's probably one of my weaknesses and uh, it's just that that run game and you know, so, sometimes, you know, my, you know, work on my handling and, and yeah, so, oh no, I'm picking up the right guy, it's just letting him go, so I just need to work on that and, you know, I guess when we watch the film, we're going to find out what the problem is and, and, and work on that for the next game, so it's going to be good. We'll take one more and then we're going to close up. Yeah. Um, home game since the Super Bowl. What have you, was it everything that you expected tonight's game with the fans? Oh, yeah. It was good. I guess having the fans there and just experience it all is, is one hell of an experience because uh, my first game and just having that amount of people there and it's awesome. The fans are crazy and I love them.